Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to tether the Canon EOS R to a MacBook Pro, iMac or Windows computer. You can do it with a USB-C Type 3 cable. You do get one in the box with the EOS R. However, it's only around 80 centimeters in length, which quite frankly is nowhere near long enough for tethering. So you'll need to pick up a longer one as soon as you can. You can pick them up online or at your local computer store for $20 to $30. If you are desperate for one, you haven't had a chance to get a longer one, believe it or not, you can actually use the USB-C Type 3 cable that comes with your MacBook Pro to connect it to the power supply. And I've done that on a number of occasions where I've forgotten the USB-C cable at home. Another quick tip to make things easier before we get started with the demonstration on how to tether the Canon is to make sure that you have turned exposure simulation off in your photo mode on the EOS R first. So in order to do that, tap on the menu button on the rear of the camera. It's in the red menu section number three and at the very bottom you'll see an option for exposure simulation. By default, it's gonna be turned to enable, so you need to tap into that and disable it. So whilst you're tethering, it means that you'll get an exposure no, no matter how small your aperture or how fast your shutter speed is set to. So when I'm using these powerful flashlights behind me, I'm usually set to around F8 or F11 at 1 110 or 1 200th of a second, which obviously means it's going to be completely black from the camera's point of view until the flash actually goes off. So if I have exposure simulation on, I'm just seeing a black image on the back of the screen. So when I go to focus, there's not enough light to focus and you can't see what you're doing on the camera itself. So in summary, when you're tethering with flash gear, just make sure that you've turned exposure simulation off. If you're not using flash lighting, this doesn't apply. If you're in the outdoors with natural lighting, just leave the exposure simulation set to on as you normally do. So apart from that, there's nothing else you need to do to set up the EOS R for tethering. It's just a matter of connecting that cable via USB-C on the side of the camera to your computer, and then you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at the process of tethering in Adobe Lightroom. Okay, so open up Lightroom and go to the file menu, tethered capture, and there's a drop down option, start tethered capture. In the top section, create a session name, which is based on the type of work you're photographing. Then you have a number of different options in relation to how it will automatically name your file. So you can go and select your preference there and then choose the destination for your files to be downloaded to. Now, incidentally, when you're using Lightroom, the images will be saved to your SD card in the camera and a second copy will also be saved onto the location that you've chosen on your computer. Now, if you like, you can go in and include metadata or add specific keywords related to your shoot. Once you've done all that, press OK, and then it will look for your camera and make the connection. You'll notice a new control strip appears just below the software window, you can use the shutter button to take your photos with that control strip or you can shoot from the camera as you normally do. You can also change some of the settings such as your aperture, ISO and shutter speed using this controller that appears on the computer which can be really quite handy. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming releases. If you've got any questions whatsoever on what I've covered today, feel free to put them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again, see you on the next one, bye for now.